There are quite a few edge rushers in the 2023 NFL draft that you're kind of like salivating over because, uh, yes, it all starts with Will Anderson Jr. And yes, we'll go into all those guys uh, in a second. But I mean, there's just so many guys in this draft that you're like, okay, yeah, these could all be guys that you take uh, potentially in the first. Uh, Will Anderson definitely going to be a top, uh, I mean, top three, top five overall pick. But there's a lot of guys you're looking at you could take in the first, take in the early second, or even in the third that could definitely make an impact for you. So today we're talking about our top 10 2023 NFL draft edge slash defensive end prospects. So we're going to bring it to you right here. Yes. Starts out with Will Anderson Jr. Obviously, I mean, coming up at Alabama, 51 total tackles last year, 17 tackles for loss, as well as 10 sacks. Last year, he had like 17 billion sacks. Like literally was a, a guy that just in every facet of the game is a game changer. Like really, he's explosive. He's got great size, big playability. Um, I will question kind of his, um, you know, his tendency to rely on athleticism more than technical refinement especially if you look at some of his things there. Obviously, uh, in college, you can usually get away with more of that kind of stuff. But um, And that's kind of a big thing we saw with some of these guys um, in this draft process, or at least in this uh, in our film study out of all these guys. But at the end of the day, like, what do you want him to do? Not win with athleticism? Like, that's the number one thing they need. So uh, Will Anderson Jr., like we talked about, he's got all the size, speed, athleticism, explosion that you want to see. He's a game changer. I do think he could be Von Miller 2.0 um, when it's all said and done. Just find some of those things uh, that you could see from him but yes he's the number one guy in this class he's an immediate upgrade over anybody you got at defensive end he's going to be a superstar in this league mark my words uh, our second defensive end slash outside linebacker we're really excited about miles murphy uh coming up out of clemson 40 total tackles last year 11 tackles for loss as well as six and a half tackle or sacks excuse me um he's a guy that just pops out at you at on tape like he just his first step his quickness his burst he literally chased down a wide receiver from boston college last year on a on a sweep uh usually and we'll get into more of uh that in his draft profile but I mean the guy is just he's a freak he's a guy that you know you know, you, you come in a little bit raw but at the end of the day uh, you do like his uh, traits that he has again you want to see a little bit more technical and technique refinement but he's just a plain raw playmaker that you're going to love to see and have on your team also Tyree Wilson number three uh, coming up out of Texas Tech 61 total tackles last year 14 tackles for lost seven sacks I think he's got the biggest upside in this draft I really do you talk about the long length uh, of a guy like Wilson and um, he's a guy that, you know, obviously he's got a great motor. He's got a lot of great things going for him. Uh, but, you know, I do think that uh, he's not the fastest guy coming off the edge, but he's got a lot of the things you love. 6'6", 280-ish, um, you know, and I think the more you watch him, uh, you see that he's got a great counter and length. Um, you know, I think he's obviously one of those guys that he's just best at going to get the quarterback. You don't want to necessarily put him in coverage, but, um, you know, I, I still think that he's just a guy, hey, you just tell him, go, go get the quarterback. That's it. Um, you know, not a leading speeder in explosive. Uh, so we'll need refinement and some of his other things. But overall, like I said, I think he's got the best. I think he's got the ability to be Julius Peppers. I think that's his ceiling um, as a guy that just comes off the edge, uh, does a lot of different things for your defense. Um, again, not necessarily out in coverage, but he can play inside, he can play outside. Uh, I'm really excited to see what he does. Also, uh, BJ Ujolari, I know that's not even close to correct, uh, but coming up out of LSU, you know what? I, I think he's a guy that you're going to be really excited about as well. Um, 58 total tackles, 8.5 tackles for loss, 5.5 sacks. Um, the thing about uh, BJ, because I'm not going to try to say that last name again, is uh, he can win inside and outside. He's got great athleticism. He consistently chases down quarterbacks. You love to see it. I do question, you know, is he a guy that you, as a 4-3 defensive end or a 3-4, is he going to be able to take on uh, you know, uh, some of those bigger offensive tackles? Is he going to be a guy that holds his edge? You know, I do think this is where we start to see some of these guys that, um, you know, start to show the tendency to not necessarily put as much emphasis on the run game, but BJ is a guy uh, that you, you definitely still grab in the first round just based on his um, his athleticism, his ability to make plays and getting to the quarterback. You got to love it. Also, uh, the next guy we got to love here is Andre Carter the second coming up out of Army. Uh, 41 tackles, 7.5 tackles for loss, 3.5 sacks. Uh, was a guy that uh, quite honestly, like this year he wasn't impressive but last year he literally, he, he was just everywhere. Uh, and the biggest thing on him is the fact that uh, he is just so athletic. Like so gr such great gr burst and speed coming off the edge. He also has a great counter, great size and speed. I would like to see him uh, you know, potentially develop a little bit more of the lower body because his, his upper body is great. Lower body, I still question of his ability to take on double teams and hold his ground in the run game. Now, also playing for Army, uh, yeah, he's probably you know, with the, with the tendency to have to play or serve before playing, excuse me, you kind of question that, uh, but I know that there has been players that have gotten out of that before. We'll see what happens there, but you know, it's definitely a risk for any team, but he's definitely worth the risk. He's, a, he's an absolute playmaker. 
guy that uh, could be a superstar in this league when it's all said and done. Uh, number six, Isaiah Foxy, uh, Foskey, excuse me, here coming up out of Notre Dame. 44 tackles, 13 and a half tackles for loss, had 10 and a half sacks there uh, for Notre Dame. Uh, great at converting speed to power. You love his ability to go from low to high. I, I think he produces uh, as a 3 4 outside linebacker slash defensive end or as a 4 3 defensive end. He's got flashy athleticism. The uh, thing is, is, he can be over kind of overtaken by um, bigger offensive tackles at times, but he does win with speed. Speed, uh, and we'll need to refine more pass rush moves as uh, you know his career goes on, which a lot, which is the case with pretty much every one of these guys. You know, again, they rely on athleticism in college. They get to the NFL and realize, hey, I need an array of pass rush moves, and that's kind of when they refine it. So you get them in a good with a good defensive line coach, and things uh, seem to go pretty well from there. Uh, the next is uh, uh, Felix Anaduki Uzama. Again, apologize for any mispronunciations. Kind of up out of Kansas, but uh, 46 total tackles last year, 11 tackles for loss, eight and a half sacks. He's a guy that, quite honestly, uh, you just love his bendability. As soon as he gets around, uh, gets that tackle, he just dips that shoulder, he gets on the inside, but he can also win inside too. Uh, I do think he needs to improve his hand usage a little bit here, but I think he's going to be a third run guy that can come in and give you some quality snaps there. Uh, Will McDonald, the fifth or fourth, I was never good at Roman Newman. Numerals, uh, flashy athleticism at times. Like there's times where he can just close down on running backs as well as quarterbacks uh, that are a little bit more agile, and you're like, wow, okay. Uh, I also think he could be a guy that, as a three-four outside linebacker, that's probably where he's best suited. Uh, I think he can cover running backs in the space uh, and also, um, you know, do it so, to a some degree to tight ends. Um, I do think he's a little slow coming off the ball, but I mean, well, uh, you're, you're getting a little picky at that point. I think he's still a quality player. Uh, Derek Hall coming up out of Auburn, uh, 60 total tackles last year, 11 and half tackles for loss six and a half sacks i love hall's ability i, I think he shocks with hands he's got a strong uh, base and can counter uh great speed to power as well another low to high my only question is with Derek hall you know the running game in the college from the NFL is such a big jump. You've got tackles that can just maul you. I do question at times if he's an every down player, but I do think that he's at the very least a very good um, a guy that you want to bring in as in terms of you know those NASCAR packages or at least to bring pressure on the quarterback. Uh, but I do think he can develop into an every down player in the NFL. And then there's Zach Harrison coming up out of Ohio State. He wins with speed on the outside. He's a little long, uh, so I do think he can add a little bit of weight, but he also has a knack for poking out the football. Like literally every single one of his plays that I watched um, you know he's always going after the football you love to see it trying to make, create a turnover for his team last year 35 total ta or 34 total tackles eight tackles for loss and three and a half sacks um, you know also not the best change of uh, person in change or not the best at change of direction excuse me and I do question if he's kind of a tweener uh, because you do like his size overall you're talking about a guy that's you know uh, at 6'6", six, six, you know, 280, you know, do you do kind of question where he's going to play a little bit of the NFL, but overall, um, you like his ability to go after the football uh, and uh, just be that guy that, can, you know, can give you some quality pass rush downs on the inside and the outside. But that's it. Those are our top three 2023 NFL draft edge slash defensive end prospects. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. Oh. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truly awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below. And we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about our top 10 2023 NFL Draft edge slash defensive end prospects.